and welcome to the channel ICT Training Nepal. So this is the slide of Stephanie Rodriguez and I want to give the credit to her for this slide. So today I am going to talk about data acquisition, right? Data acquisition or data acquisition, okay? So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, please subscribe and please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe because you are getting a lot of education video. So please don't forget to subscribe this channel. So let's talk about data acquisition. So data acquisition in GIS, Geographical Information System or Geographic Information System. So we are talking about the GIS here. We are talking about a geographic information system data acquisition. So if you haven't watched the lesson one or the previous video, please watch the introduction to GIS. I have given the link below this video. Please watch and let's talk more about data acquisition. So what is data acquisition? It's like the data gathering data where the data are coming from for the GIS okay so where the data are coming from in GIS where data are coming from in GIS and in which form the data are coming in GIS so this is all about the data in GIS okay so data acquisition so let's talk about it so let's go to the next slide so let's talk about here okay so data acquisition First of all, start, okay, so this is like the, how the GIS work totally, right? So start, define questions to be answered, list of the questions. So it's all about online mapping. It's all about digital mapping. It's all about how you visualize the data in map. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe the channel. So let's talk about it. Start define questions to be answered and acquire data from the data set so we are talking about data acquisition from the acquiring the data from the data set so let's go for it so first of all what is geospatial versus gis so let's talk about it gis refers to the system where geographic information is stored in layers and integrated with geographic software programs so that special information can be created stored manipulated analyzed and visualized okay so let's talk about the geospatial geo the term geospatial is a term that has only recently been gaining in popularity and used to define the collective data and associated technology has a geographic or locational component right so look at here gis a system where geographic information is stored and geospatial the collective data and associated technology has a geographic or locational component so it is the collection of data associated with the geographic right so it is the collection of data and here it is the system where the geographic information is stored okay so let's move forward geospatial data acquisition so first of all let's talk about data acquisition the process of creating or acquiring the spatial and non-spatial data from various sources so it is the process of creating or acquiring it's a process of creating or acquiring means getting from other spatial or non-spatial data from various sources okay we need to have to acquire data and input in gis so that we visualize the data in the form that the people the users can understand okay and if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel now so that you will get the lots of lots of education content so let's move forward type of the 
primary and secondary data so it is the type of G spatial data okay primary and second data so here is the figure 2 you can see here observative and non observative so observative data is a data we can visualize right observative we can visualize it's the data we can see and non observative we cannot visualize and it's in the light it's like in the back end okay so here you can say it at a primary and secondary data so let's talk about the observative data observative data you can hear you can absorb the data you can visualize the data the data has been visualized here the forest here and the water and the base soil and the crop field so this all you can observe okay so non observative data what are those non observative it's like it is in the table right so it's in the table and it's the name of the grade, amount of the element icon from list to grade so it's the cocoa puff so these are the non observative okay so the primary source of data so how the data has been collected okay how data is collected right the primary data is data directly collected okay the primary is data directly collected so first of all gps is also called the global positioning system is the radio based navigation systems that uses the gps receivers to computer accurate location and the earth surface from the series of orbiting satellites okay the gc we also have gps in our mobile phones or in our smartphones most of the most of them so collecting the fossil location in death valley in ca is just an example so and the other one is programmetry obtains accurate measurement from aerial photographs okay so this is the aerial photo uh, gravity so it's all is sorry it's another programmetry it's a photogrammetry so it's a aerial photogrammetry photogrammetry obtains the accurate measurement from the aerial photographs photogrammetry creates the gs data through 3d stereo digitalizing and by producing spatial Reclified aerial photographs that can be entered into the GIS as a layer. Okay, so it's the primary data, it's the primary data source, like the one in the GPS and the other is the photogrammetry. Okay, so let's look at here and you can see that how the data is acquired. So the other one is the secondary data. The secondary data are data sets that someone else collected. Okay. So we are not collecting the data. The data are collecting by someone else or some uh, government organization and other organizations. Like the second data are data sets that someone else collected data that we retrieve from other source internet reports, open source data. These all are the secondary data. Okay and let's talk about the quality assessment okay the quality assessment or the quality assurance of data you can hear so how the gis data or how we visualize the data is from all it's all from the steps by the step first of all we start to define the questions to be answered and the list of the question and we acquire data through the data sets and we do the quality assurance and analysis and create products or like map reports article websites and distribute the data and it's in so it's like the flow chart okay so so here you, you see the quality assurance so the quality assessment so how we do the quality assessment we do the quality assessment through the various other questions okay so is the data derived from the reliable source it is the reliable source data is it or not and the other thing is the how old the data set is and other thing is is the data spatially accurate if the data is not accurate then what will happen in the result will be result will not come the accurate and you are not getting the best result okay 
So the geo processing error. Is there any geo processing errors? Data interpreted correctly and representing the true features phenomenon of the earth. Is it correct or not? So the quality assurance steps are review first of all, find and record errors. Another thing is the perform edits or note exceptions and at last acceptable or unacceptable verify okay so review correct and verify review correct and verify okay so type of the errors there are two types of errors one is the accuracy errors and other is the precision errors so accuracy errors how old is the data set okay so we want to show um, the population density of uh, some country and if the data is uh, we are taking from 2000 uh, celsius data then what will happen is it is the 2020 right so it is not accurate okay so it may be not accurate okay the data sets may have locational inaccuracy also okay the other thing is the geoprocessing errors the the type was misinterpretation of the data and other thing is the conversion issue unable to use in gis so what happened is if there is the old type of data and we are using the new arc gs pro or something like that then what will happen uh, in conversion there will be the issue okay so other thing is the precision error so what is the precision error the data set may have positional imprecisions due to the scale of the original maps okay so it happens sometimes and the other thing is the pixel resolution can also be contributed to the data sets position imprecision if the layer has a large pixel size it may poorly represent the positional precision and its features okay it happens you can you can see here so other thing is the positional impression can also be occur if the features position is difficult to determine some features like street and parcels are fairly easy to place but there are the features like soil vegetation and climate regimes that have the fuzzy and less discrete borders some lines across the map are value judgments the data may be accurate they are just no precise okay the data may be accurate but they are not just precise okay so these are the errors right so we are end of this uh, lesson data acquisition in geographic information system in gis so please like and subscribe to this channel if you are new to the channel like subscribe and you are getting new videos you are getting the it related videos please like and subscribe for that okay thank you so much see you in the next video